Hello everyone, we are still here in Hania. It's been raining all morning, it was raining all night. There's a little break right now where it's not raining, so we're gonna go out and we're gonna explore. So this morning while it was raining, Robin and I took advantage of the time to just do some work. We did some research for our next country we're going to. Coming up soon. Coming up real soon. And Robin has been just pumping out videos so I hope you guys are enjoying those. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to explore the city now. So I'm not really sure what we're looking at right now because Google Maps doesn't tell us, but it looks like some sort of wall fortress around the coast, but we don't know what it's called, so sorry. <laughs> this isn't a history channel. <laughs> so now we're on top of a wall, Yeah. we think. <laughs> kind of looks like a nice little garden area with some paths that we're following. So yeah, we'll see where it leads. Cat. Oh my god! <laughs> Look how chunky they are! Oh my gosh! You guys missed it, but holy, they are well fed. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so we're by the coast, which is pretty close to the downtown area. I don't think we're exactly in downtown, but we've stumbled on a whole bunch of different walking streets. Like most of the other islands, lots of shops are actually closed, but it's still really pretty to look at, and I'm sure there'll be something along the coast that we can go in and see. buildings so that would be a long walk but I guess we'll see how we're feeling we just don't want to get hit with rain so <laughs> so but this is a beautiful view from here so we might just enjoy it so we just found an information map and it turns out this fortress which is right behind me we're gonna go see it after it actually wraps a lot of the city of Hania, especially all of downtown, which we didn't know before. We thought it was just here, according to the map at least. So we've walked into the entrance of the museum. It's not the actual museum itself, but it allows us to walk on top of the walls that we saw by the coast and go all the way up to a little viewpoint. So that's what we're gonna do. If you wanna go actually see the museum itself, the inside of it, I think I saw that it was about three euros per person for an adult, so that's always an option. Okay, so Robin and I have wandered away from the coast now. We are kind of on a race against the rain again. <laughs> so we're gonna try to squeeze in our other stop that we wanna go see. We're gonna go find the Peace and Friendship Park. It's Very cute. cute. <laughs> Very cute name. Yeah, so we're gonna go find that. Oh, 
All right, we made it to the Peace and Friendship Park. There's a couple of turtles. Turtles? Yeah, look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Like there's more fish in the... Oh, maybe that's what you... The park doesn't seem very lively, probably because it's raining, but also probably because it's winter. I'm sure it's more of a hangout spot in the summertime. Definitely, there's lots of seating everywhere. And it looks like there'd be a lot more plants and flowers, obviously, in the spring and the summer months. Yeah, it looks a little different than what I had envisioned, <laughs> but- It was still good. This yeah. was still nice. Still a good walk. It was a good walk. Got us out of the house. Yeah. And now we're gonna go back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pick up some food on the way. Yes. All right, so Robin and I just got back from the grocery store. It is raining, so we were sprinting to get back here. Good thing it is close. We're both doing our own things for dinner tonight because I have some leftover cheese from supper yesterday and so does Robin, but they're different cheeses, so we're gonna make different dishes with them. So I picked up some tomato sauce, um to go on some pitas and then i'll just have little cheese pizzas for dinner and then i picked up of course some chocolate for this evening and a beverage and yeah i'm a big fan of this chocolate now i wish i could bring a box home mm -hmm. but that doesn't really work um and then i got some croissants for breakfast tomorrow so yeah that's what i got Wow, my little pieces are looking awesome. Robin's prepping her dish. Works really good because she just needs the stove top and I need the oven so we can cook at the same time. So now I'm making a pasta dish that's gonna have like olives and some red and yellow peppers and the olives. I have high expectations because they're from Greece. Whoa, that's <laughs> Well, they look so good. I just finished mine. So in here I have the red pepper, yellow pepper, and olives that I had to pit. They taste really good and really fresh, but it did take me quite a while. So I don't know if I'm missing a trick to it or something like that. And then I melted feta cheese in it. And then I also sprinkled some feta cheese on top because I had more than enough to use up. So I'm really excited for it. And then salt and pepper, of course, because that's the only um, spices that we have here. Looks really good. <laughs> it looks really good. And then my pizzas are just cooling off on the stove right now. They also look and smell so, so good. good. So this is where we're gonna end the vlog. Tomorrow we'll be in a different place, so stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching, you guys. We hope you liked the video and we'll see you guys later. Would you dive in? Absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe other people would. Because I have lost you. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay.